Hey guys, this is Lee here, and in this video, I'm going to show you what Laser Performance is doing to develop a brand new Sunfish Racing Sail. If you have ever wondered how different racing parts or even Sunfish sailing parts get made, sometimes they go to the class association and ask the opinions of some of the people in the class. They want to try to keep the Sunfish sailboat a one design class, which means they want all the boats to be pretty much the same. They don't want anything to be added onto the sailboat that's going to be a significant advantage in speed or performance. But before we get to the video, I hope you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And now to the video. So in this instance, Laser Performance, or LP, went to Rich Chapman and said they wanted to develop a Sunfish sail for racing and they wanted to keep it in-house. Previous builders have used North Sail's sail loft to create and fabricate the sail for all the Sunfish sailboats. But now Laser Performance wants to take manufacturing under its own roof and develop it all in one place. I spoke with LP and he said that they would want to try to keep everything in place and build the hulls of the sunfish, the parts, and the sails all next to each other so that they could have more control over the supply chain. Some of the things that were going on with the sunfish parts is because of the lead times that it takes for laser performance to get their suppliers to, to supply them with parts. Sometimes the supplier's suppliers can have issues getting materials to make the parts. They have to make decisions at least six months to a year in advance and they have to try to predict how many parts are needed in order to keep things streamlined. So with these lead times, sometimes it's very difficult for laser performance to predict how many parts are needed. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to Rich Chapman, who is the president of the International Sunfish Class Association. He's helping out with the development of a new racing sunfish sail. So there's a new sail from Portugal. Yeah, so lazy performance is starting to... So everything is basically the same? It's supposed to be. Does it look like Tom Cannon High Rates like blue <laughs> sail? Yeah. Not that I've noticed. Okay, so we have Rich Chapman here who is the president of the International Sunfish Class Association and he brought down to the International Sunfish Midwinters a demo sail that Laser Performance has provided. Uh, Rich, can you tell us about this sail? Yeah, the sail is being made in Portugal by a, a loft that uh, LP has hired. And so they want to have all their sails made where the boats are going to be made. I think they're probably also going to try to make all of their blades and everything in-house eventually. So uh, they sent us this as a prototype. We, we've had it looked at by a couple people. Uh, it's been looked at by the UK loft up in Connecticut. And then um, John Butine, our measurer, took a look at it. Now we brought it down here so we can actually sail it. We're going to leave it with uh, some people down here in Florida and let them sail it and use it for about a week and see what they think. And then uh, once we get the okay, um, they'll start production. There are some things that we want to change. There are a couple of dimensions that are going to be a little bit different, but all those things can be dealt with. So um, the goal for the sale is basically to keep it in-house so they can get better production logistics going on. Is the sale going to be any faster? Well, that's the question, obviously. That's the, the, the you know, the magic question is, I don't know. That's what we need to find out. Um, it looks to be almost exactly the same. Uh, the cloth is a little different. We don't know if it's better or not. Um, that's what we're going to find out. All right. Thanks a lot, Rich Chapman. So there you have it. The reason why LP is developing a new sale is they want to try to keep everything in-house. The class does not actually want to create a different sale that's going to be faster or a better sale. They want to keep the sale relatively the same so you don't have to get a brand new sale if these Portugal sales are somewhat faster. They want to keep the performance of the sale the same. When I personally looked at the sale, the sail looked pretty much the same. However, when I touched the sail with my fingers, there definitely was some difference in the sail from the, the present sails that we have now. 
the sail that is developed in Portugal does feel a little thinner. And who knows what that would mean in the long run, but hopefully the longevity of the sail will be at least the same. What do you think about developing the new sail? What do you think about LP trying to make their own sail and not North sails? Leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. I read all the comments. So if you got any value from this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I come out with a new video. Thanks and I'll see you on the water.